Welcome. My name is Trisha Morris, and I would like to welcome you to my channel, Mathematics Simplex, where you will be able to view videos you might find difficult in your mathematics class. Please don't forget to subscribe. Press that button. And at the end of the video, please like. Today we'll be doing the laws of indices. So the laws of indices. So the first law is that when we multiply, we add the poles. So we have the base ones and we add the powers when we divide. So when we divide, we subtract the powers. And if you realize when we're subtracting, we write the base ones and we're adding, we write the base ones. When I have one base and a power with another power outside the bracket, this means we multiply the powers. So we have NM, meaning we multiply the powers. A to the zero, it's the same thing as one. If I have A to the minus N, it is the same thing as one over a to the n. Also, if I have if I have n roots a m, it's the same thing as a to the m over n. Now one thing you need to know is, is that the square root is the same thing as the power a half. Now let's do some examples. So if I have x to the 2 times x to the 4 then this will give me x to the 2 plus 4 to give me 6. If I have x to the 2 divided by x to the 4, then I'll have x to the 2 minus 4, that's a negative 2. But we also have a rule that says when you have a negative power, I can write it as 1 over the positive power. If we have 2 to the 3 times 2, then it's the same thing as 2 to the 6. And we know that 2 to the 6 is 64. Anything raised to the power 0 is 1. So 3 to the 0 is 1. 5 to the 0 is 1. X to the zero is one. If I have the cube root, cube root is the same thing as writing it as x to the one third. If I have the fifth root of x squared, it is the same thing as x to the two over five. Then we have an example. 27 over 8 raised to the negative one third. The first thing that we can do is reciprocate this fraction. So we will have 8 over 27 and change the power to positive a third. Then we Go ahead and change it two to the three. 27 is 
three to the three. And then we have a third. Multiplying, so multiplying the powers, so three times a third, so two and three times a third. Then we have three, the three times a third. So both the numerator and denominator share the one third. These cancel, so the answer is two over three. So let me do another one. If you have four over eighty one, we use the negative a half. The first thing we're going to do is reciprocate the fraction. So we have eighty one over four. And the negative a half becomes a positive a half. We also know that 81 is the same thing as 9 squared or 3 to the fourth, whichever one you want to use. But I'm using 9 squared. And 4 is the same thing as 2 squared. Then we multiply the numerator and denominator by a half. So you have 9 two times a half over two to the two times a half. These cancel, so we have the answer to be nine over two. No. Here we have another example. Suppose so we have the square root of 81 x to the fourth over x squared. And this is y to the six over y squared. Now the first thing, let me write this properly. So we so say we have the square root of 81 times x to the fourth, y to the six, and uh, x square in the denominator and y to the fourth in the denominator. First thing we can do is apply the laws of indices that says when we divide, we subtract the powers. So we have x, Four take away two, I'm left with two. Y, six take away four, I'm left with two. Then finding the square root, the square root of 81, that's nine. The square root cancels the square, so this is X. The square root cancels this square, so this is Y. So this is nine X Y. Say we have the cube root of 27 x to the 9 y to the 6 over x to the 6 and y to the 3. So the first thing we're going to do again is simplify. So we have the cube root. 27, 9 take away 6, I'm left with 3, 6 take away 3, I'm left with 3, then find the cube root of 27, that's 3, the cube root cancels this cube, so I have x, and the cube root cancels this cube, so I'm left with y, so this is x, y. Now, I am going to use the same example, just changing some of the numbers. So say we have the same cube root of 27, but now this is going to be x to the 18 and y to the nine, let's leave this as nine. 
So writing back the cube root, then I have 27x. Now, laws of indices says we subtract. So 80 minus 6 to give me 12. And 9 minus 3, that's 6. Now, what we could do, we can find the cube root or we can rewrite this as 27 as 3 to the 3. Then we have x to the 12, y to the 6, and the cube root is 1 third. So multiplying, we have 3 times 1 third. Then we have x to the 12 times. one third and y to the six times one third. So this cancel, so I have three, three into 12 goes four times. So it means we have x to the fourth and three into six goes two times, so it's y squared. And there we go, that's it. If we have x to the minus two times three, then the rule, and this is the rule I'm talking, is just seeing when you have two powers we multiply, so you'd have negative two times three, that's negative six. So if I have x to the four times two, then this will be x to the 